and those powerful winds he's talking about whipping up the water surrounding our area. Let's go out now to CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch. She's been in Jersey City throughout the evening and in that surrounding area. Vanessa, it seems like the winds have died down a bit since we last checked in with you. A dramatic shift in both the wind and the rain. Now, truth be told, at this moment in time, I'm standing under an overhang, so you can't get the full perspective on the change. So I'll step out into the elements. I can stand up straight. I do not need to have my back to the wind. My hair is staying relatively dry. Very different than when that squall line, that narrow band of heaviest rain and strongest winds moved through this region. And right now, the winds are significantly calmer than they were just about 40 minutes ago. But the rain continues to fall. It is still breezy out here. Winds probably gusting at about 30 now compared to the 50 plus just about 40 minutes ago. I want to bring you over toward the Hudson River. You can listen and hear the water washing through, being likely pumped here to give a little bit of breathing room to all of the drains across Jersey City. As we were standing out here earlier, the tide was much higher. The waves were much rougher as well when the winds then were out of the East. We had white caps earlier tonight. Now it's choppy, but certainly much more settled than it was not too long ago. What we anticipate is that the rain as it settles down will continue to see this draining happening. It will still be windy overnight, but again, as Lonnie said, the worst of the winds have moved through Jersey and are now pushing across Long Island. As we've driven around today, some of the things that we've seen are flooded out roadways, but really the winds are, have been the biggest impact right here along the coastline tonight and the most impressive, most fun and most miserable to endure. But the good news is the worst of it is behind us and now we'll just have to continue to watch things drain. And unfortunately for our friends a little bit northwest of Jersey City who live near the rivers, they'll have to deal with that river flooding that Lonnie mentioned. But out here live right now, I'm happy to be standing in much improved conditions. Christina Maurice and I'll look forward to drying out in just a little while. Vanessa, this is Lonnie. I'm here at the desk with AJ Mo. I just want to ask you quickly, Vanessa, the one element that we haven't seen with this storm is snow because it hasn't been cold enough. Right now, you do not, not look like you're battling the cold weather at all. Oh, no. I mean, come on. I don't even have gloves on. But there does come a point where... It just doesn't matter anymore. You're right. drenched. I much prefer the 50s and rain to the 30s and rain, which many in our area experienced earlier today. So thank goodness we're out here late. We're feeling the surge of warmth as the rain comes down. But yeah, I mean, it, it could be way worse than what I'm standing in right now. That's for certain, Lonnie. Yes, I'll leave you with one point. If this had been snow, you'd be standing in about 20 to 25 inches of it. <laughs> Yes, and I'd be awfully happy, wouldn't I? <laughs> Good enough. Hey, thank you very much, Vanessa. Yes, she wouldn't be, she wouldn't be standing in snow. She'd be buried in snow, yeah, right? That's a heartwarming thought as you think about it right now. Yeah.